Hey, what's up everyone? Vihan here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're working to pursue your passion, it can often be a tricky thing because there may not always be a steady path for you to follow. This is particularly true if you're trying to start a business or pursue something creative. So I wanted to have a quick conversation with someone who's found success pursuing their creative passions and talk about how they navigated getting to where they are now. So allow me to introduce you to Indian filmmaker Nag Ashwin. Nag Ashwin is an extremely well-known director and screenwriter in the Telugu film industry. His most recent film, Mahanati, was a critical and commercial success and garnered the National Film Award for Best Feature, as well as the Filmfare Award for Best Director. He's also given several TED Talks about creativity, filmmaking, and following your passion. Before we get started, don't forget to drop a like on this video for the YouTube gods and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more great stuff like this every week. I'm so glad to have had the chance to speak with Nagashwin about his career and how he got started. And here's what he had to say. I think as as I grew up, like finishing the journalism, getting into advertising, then slowly starting to make some short films, the ad sort of thing. Then I realized that yeah, you know, maybe I can find my way into this. And uh, I think it's just a lot of confidence somewhere along the way. I think I enjoyed people reacting to some sort of fiction or some sort of writing that I did. So I think writing is always the core, and uh, the next level of reaching out to your writing is I think still good. We also talked about the risk of pursuing a creative career and where having a backup plan fits into all of this. Also very consciously I didn't want to have a backup plan. Like I think my parents and a lot of well-wishers and family used to say do your engineering or do whatever and then after that you can do whatever you want you know. And for some reason I was very sure I didn't want to do that. Uh, because uh, because I didn't want to have a backup plan like for for starters like I think yeah you when you don't have something to fall back upon you work harder maybe it can seem extremely risky to not have a plan B in case things don't pan out but the thing to bear in mind is that sometimes you may subconsciously lean on your backup plan just because it's there and we all know how frustration can set in with rejection and lead to doubt so I also asked him how he handles that especially when he's in between projects and unsure of what's next for him the movies that I pitched to other producers, which they didn't take, uh, which uh, they didn't uh, accept or they didn't come on board. So I think that sometimes what if they had taken that and that was a very different story, then maybe I would have gone on a different path. I wouldn't have made this. I wouldn't have, I don't know. It's all part of the process. So was that guy rejecting me luck also? Maybe it was. Kind of. mm -hmm. You have the advantage of hindsight for sure. Yeah. But I think when you're when you're doing it, just keep your head down and keep going. Because for example, even waiting is really hard. Like even after finishing a movie, like I made up my first feature, and then to make Mahanati took a while. Like to set yeah. things together and like in when you look back in uh, again in hindsight, you think that time allowed me to write the script better or that. Uh, casting choice allowed me to get a better actor on board. Mm -hmm. So hindsight, yeah, you think, oh great, it's part of the plan. But when you're in it, you're really frustrated and you're like, yeah. There's a great speech given by Steve Jobs at Stanford. I even made a video on it several months ago where he talked about how one can never connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. So you have to have faith that the dots will line up in your favor. And that's exactly what Nagashwan is saying here. Now much of the process of creating anything is listening to feedback so that you know how people are responding to your work. All of this is what can help point you in the right direction when you're striving to improve and create an excellent product. So here's what he had to say about that. And also just improving yourself and being objective. Like it's just, if it's not good, like be objective, understand, take good feedback, make another one. But don't just say I made a short film, nobody is uh, supporting me and the industry is like uh, all bad. Like, I think if you, I think what I've understood, if you have a good piece of work, even if it's a one minute or a 30 second ad, if it's a good piece of work, if, if somebody shows it to me or anybody, people are hungry. They just want good talent. Like if it's a good cinematographer, a good writer, if you just hear one dialogue, you'll pick up the phone and call to see who wrote that man. Like who's that writer? Because there's a there is a there is a scarcity of writers, a scarcity of directors, of cameramen, of everything. So to honestly, we work with the same people over and over a lot because uh, because we don't know from where to get uh, other people. So. So if you've seen my other videos, you might know that this is a channel that's focused on productivity and time management. And there aren't too many professions that require efficient management of time and prioritization 
like the director of a major studio film. So I asked him how he juggles his tasks on every project that he's on. And this is what he had to say. You have it, so you're always running against time. So like, it's every day, like, and and it's always Murphy's Law, like things are always going to go wrong. I mean, yeah, I think there are always stuff that you forget like, or that like, slip your mind. You, uh, you just try to prioritize each sort of thing. You have like a team around you. So you try to delegate uh, and then you try to have some sort of fail safes to that delegation. And then you try to fix it in post as much as you can. You figure <laughs> it out. There are plenty of methods that can help you prioritize and manage your tasks better. One of the things that Nagashwin is alluding to is the necessity of knowing which tasks are important and which are urgent. This is essentially the principle of the Eisenhower matrix, and I'll leave a card up there for you to check it out. Once you identify the nature of your task, you'll have a better sense of which ones need tending to and which ones can be delegated to someone else or scheduled for later. The final thing I wanted to ask him was how you can prevent yourself from getting carried away when you look at someone else's success. I'm guilty of this too, and from our conversation, it sounded like he experienced this as well. What is the people like, even when I was uh, ADing or whatever, there'd always be this odd article about some 19 year old director who's gone to the Berlin Film Festival, and I'm like, what the hell? What am I doing? So, it, there'll always be those, but everyone has their own time. Like, for example, there's this, there's this director called Ashton Kumar who made this movie called Little Terrorist. I think it won a Oscar. And then he made another film after that and he was in a sort of the indie scene. I, I'm just saying like you sometimes you peak early and then sometimes you fizzle out later on and then you fig you have to figure it out later after you peak. And then some people figure it out and then peak. And, then... and I think that this was probably my favorite takeaway. The fact that you are never early or late to the process. You're just on your own time. I hope that you guys enjoyed what Nagashwin had to say. Thank you, Nagi, for chatting with me. If you guys like this video, drop a like down below and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more conversations like this in the future. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.